Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, all glory, and all honor be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachah, Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great male stone who rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there pushing this word in truth, sincerity, and indeed. All right, it's your brother Kapat Desai from the Great Millstone Chicago branch. Coming at you with another quick, Lord willing, edifying lesson. And uh, this is just going to be a real quick one. All right, just recently in the news, uh, your boy Putin, Vladimir Putin, Putin, all right, the man over there in Russia, he's recently um, enacting legislation to basically have his country's resource, which is uh, natural gas and energy. He wants to regulate that by uh, only selling it to those who purchase it in ruples, all right? The Russian currency, ruples, okay? You're either gonna have to, in order to get Russian natural gas and energy, you're going to have to purchase it by buying ruples or buy physical gold, all right? So now what's that doing? He's, he's cornering the market. Essentially, he's trying to do what the United States has done all right, I want to say since the 70s, all right, in the emergence of uh, uh, OPEC nations, okay, in the emergence of the petrodollar, if you wanted to trade in gasoline, shit, really, if you wanted to trade in any commodity on the international level, you had to buy up U.S. dollars, okay? This was a move that uh, propelled the U.S. economy and afforded us the current standard of living that uh, these people are enjoying the last minutes of today, okay? All right, because moves like these are being made, the standard of living for your average American, well shit, not even your average American, for all Americans is getting ready to drop, all right? This is why we say, hey man, war is in the making because there are certain moves being made that just cannot be made in order to keep the United States hegemony afloat. But anyways, Putin is basically doing what the United States did in the 70s, all right? When they made everybody have to buy US dollars in order to trade, especially for oil. All right, so now what this is going to do is going to cause other nations to follow suit. To which, you know, Russia and China, they've been abandoning the US dollar and using their own respective currencies and trade for I want to say the last five years, okay? But this is Putin, all right, he's dealing out a, uh, he's, he's dolling out a heavy blow into the world markets because. He's putting his country first. He sees the weakness in the United States. He sees that the sun is setting on, you know, the Roman Empire, all right? Rome reloaded, basically, all right? And which we all know, everything is getting ready to go digital, all right? To which I believe, um, I, I could be wrong, but I wanna say the digital currency for the Rupal is uh, XRP. I could be wrong, okay? I could be wrong, double, you know, I'll have to double check that, you know, but uh, I wanna say that would be the digital currency that is pegged to the Rupal, which is XRP, which that is eventually gonna see a surge, all right? Because he's making these moves and really there's nothing anybody else can do to stop him, okay? Hey, you wanna sanction his country? Hey, he's gonna make moves like this in order to prop up his country and keep it afloat. But what is that gonna do? That's gonna cause other nations to buy rubles, to ditch US dollars, and to buy up gold, all right? And what's that gonna do? That's gonna cause this US dollar to fail, all right? To crash and burn, all right? This is the book of Genesis, chapter 47, verse 15, all right? This is getting ready to happen. It says, and when the money failed in the land of Egypt and in the land of Canaan, all the Egyptians came to Joseph and said, give us bread for why should we die in thy presence? for the money failing, okay? All right, so when that money failed, what? They had to go to Joseph, all right? One of our forefathers in order to survive, in order to survive the family, in order to be fed, all right? Because what? Their economy collapsed, okay? And this is essentially what's gonna happen when this economy collapses and all hell is breaking loose, these people, they're gonna be going to the US government saying, help, all right, feed us. We can't afford to live, we can't afford our rent, we can't afford anything, okay? Our entire standard of life, shit, our entire life is in shambles at this point. You know, please come help us, okay? And what is the government then in turn gonna do? They're gonna come at you with the MOTB, all right? They're gonna come at you with the solution, the MOTB, okay? You're gonna be fully 
in tune with the B system if you want to uh, uh, shit, not even, if you want to barely survive. You're not even going to live good. You're going to barely survive. All right? You're going to get the bare minimum. And people are going to sell out for that. Why? Because all hell is getting ready to break loose. All right? And when all hell is breaking loose, people want the furthest thing to normalcy that they can get. All right? No matter what. Say if they have to get inoculated, if they have to get, you know, the Dorito, <laughs> the Dorito chip implanted into their skin, referring back to the book of Revelation chapter 13, then that's what these people are going to do. Because ultimately, all who don't believe the truth are damned to a fiery condemnation, man. All right. But hey, that's just an update on what's going on. Hope it was edifying. All praises, glory, and honor be to you. How about you? How shy about you? Shalom and the Bible ball.